So I wanted to make this video about Langchain agents in combination with GPT 3.5 because Langchain, if you don't know, is incredibly powerful and GPT 3.5 is incredibly smart and incredibly cheap. But there is a big problem with the current implementation and that's what I want to talk about. So here's the big problem. The problem is that GPT 3.5 Langchain agents have a really hard time deciding when to use tools and when not to use tools. And I'll show you a little example of this along with my solution to the problem. So here's a basic conversation agent, and I'll just ask it uh, something that doesn't require tools. Write me a haiku about robots. And you'll see it enters the agent chain, but it doesn't use any tools, it just gives me the haiku which is the right decision. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, except first, I'm gonna ask it to use a tool. So I'll say, look up the weather in Prague. And you can see it did that successfully, so now we'll ask it the same question we did before, write a haiku about robots. And you'll see it actually tries to look up on the internet a haiku about robots, and uh, I mean, it still makes up its own haiku, I think, but this is a failed attempt. So now I'm going to show you what my solution does. I'll ask it the same thing as before. Um, look up the weather in Prague. And now I'll ask it write a haiku about robots. So. Let's see if it uses tools. It doesn't use tools, it just writes the haiku. And now, um, to really test it, let's see if it can save this as a file, if it can use tools again. So I'll ask it, um, and you can see it actually did save the haiku that I wrote as a file on my computer and it responded kind of weirdly but it did the correct action so I think that this shows that it works pretty well. So why is GPT 3.5 acting kind of dumb in this case? The task that it's giving GPT 3.5 is actually pretty complex. It's asking it to decide whether or not to use tools as well as which tool to use and giving it the entire chat context full of things like users asking to look things up and make files and do whatever actions are associated with the tools it has. I think it's also worth pointing out that the Langchain agent works much better with the DaVinci model um, than the GPT 3.5 model by default, although it is much more expensive. So the solution, and I have a diagram here to explain it better, basically compartmentalizes these uh, tool tasks. And it does that with three components. The main component is actually a vanilla chatbot that's not a Langchain agent. Um, and it just has the entire chat history and it acts like normal GPT 3.5. But the first thing that happens when the user types in a prompt is a director evaluates whether or not the prompt is asking to use tools without any other chat context. If it does need tools, then it goes to a DaVinci or ChatGPT 3.5 agent, which is mostly blind, as in it just has the user's prompt as the context and the previous message. I think that limiting the context of this agent um, improves the tool selection, but it is optional. An important aspect is that this agent and this chatbot update the same history, so it all flows into one seamless conversation. So here's the code for the GPT 3.5 agent that I showed in the video. We start out with all the Langchain classes and methods that we'll need here. Langchain is quite a complex library, so there's just a lot of stuff. We authenticate ourselves for OpenAI. We set up the model for a basic GPT 3.5 chatbot and set up a blank history, which is just an empty list. 
Then we set up the tools for the 3.5 agent that we'll make later. And here's the interesting part, the director. It's basically just a system prompt that says respond only yes or no. And then the user prompt is, does the following request require searching the internet, interacting with the file system, executing code, or doing math calculations? Respond with yes or no. It has the user's prompt in there. And this has to be customized to whatever tools your chatbot is using. In my experience, 3.5 can handle about four tools that it uses correctly all the time. More tools than that, and this director starts to fail a little bit. So then we have the main loop, just gets the user prompt. This callback thing is just to calculate the cost at the end. We basically just append the user prompt to the history. We check it with the direct function, which just calls the director system. If it's gonna require tools, if it does, it makes a new agent, gives it a little bit of context, and then gets the result, otherwise, it just goes through the vanilla chatbot and at the end it adds the result to the history um, list. So that's basically it.